Hi everyone. Um, today we are going to be talking about living with all types of diabetes on a budget in India. Uh, my name is Nupur. I've been living with type one diabetes since the past twenty seven years. Over to you, Sneha. Hi everyone. This is Sneha. I've been living with type one diabetes for the past twenty years, and we know it's it's a most common asked question. How do you save money, or how do you manage the expenses that come with diabetes? So here we are bringing an amazing video uh, to you all, uh, sharing my and Nupu's experiences as well on how we are doing it. So let's get started. Yeah, I'm so excited. Actually, you know, just like Snehal said, uh, we are super excited to talk about this because very often people feel like it's a choice. You know, like we. can either uh, you know we must spend a lot of money to have good control and that's not true uh, we you know experimented on ourselves and of course by no means is this any of this medical advice um, we are people living with diabetes we are certified diabetes educators and we are sharing our experience with you and we have found that peer support and peer learning um, is one of the best ways to you know um, manage your diabetes so um, along with the support of your physician uh, you know please go ahead the very first thing that comes in our mind when we talk about uh, diabetes on budget is uh, the jan aushadhi kendras which are very widely spread uh, across urban and rural in india so it comes from the pradhan mantri bharatiya jan aushadhi pariyojana which is a campaign launched by the department of pharmaceuticals in association with central pharma public sector and uh, the aim of this is to make sure that generic medicines are available to the common masses so the jan aushadhi kendras are widely spread across like i already said um uh, they are you can easily google them find out the nearest jan aushadhi kendra um, and it's easily accessible but the only thing is that you have to go there physically and uh, get your uh, medicine and also to check if your particular insulin or any brand of uh, medicine that you're looking for is available over there or not because not all jan aushadhi kendras will be carrying the insulin or the availability could be an issue so that's there Yeah, so I am interrupt Sneha here for a second to just uh, say that lazy people will find a way. And uh, you know, during the lockdown, I used uh, Dunzo services to you know pick up my medicines from the Jan Aushadhi Kendra. So uh, that's also something you can consider if you're lazy like me. Let's come on to the most important part, the pricing. So uh, me and Nupur have both tried uh, the generic insulins, uh, Glargin for Lantus, and Regular for Actrapid. So we'll just show you. so i have with me okay we'll start with lantus versus glargin so the one in purple is the sanofi uh, lantus and the one with the golden top is the uh, jan aushadhi kendra's insulin glargin uh, as you can see both of them look pretty similar only difference is that the height is a little bit different like there's hardly a difference of 2 to 3 mm maybe uh, but i can i have been using it on the regular um, lantus pen and it perfectly fits in there's been no issues with that and uh, uh, we have been using this for i think about 8 uh, plus months now and um, you can like easily uh, replace the lantus cartridge in your pen uh, with the glargin cartridge and i think nupur uses she doesn't use a pen she uses a syringe with it yeah uh, so uh, you know it's really cool to know that uh, you can use the lantus uh, pen with uh, glargin which is uh, you know not from the same company and uh, thanks to snehal for kind of experimenting and finding out if that works because uh, like she said i use syringes i've actually never used a pen that's the funny thing um, so i use this syringe right here that you can see the one with the orange cap um because 100 iu syringe must go with 100 iu um, insulin and 40 iu syringe must go with 40 iu insulin so just to make sure uh, that you know we dose correctly um this is the combination i use and snehal yeah between the syringes uh the red cap one with 40 iu insulin and the orange cap one with the 100 iu so we just have to ensure that you are using proper syringes with uh, proper insulin Okay. Nupur, do you want to show the Lantus uh, packet? Like, if you buy five cartridges, yes. So this is the uh, 
the carton for lentils and um, you can buy five at a time uh, which is kind of convenient and this is what it looks like um, i'm just going to flip it over and and show you and there are also photos in our blog we will uh, you know of course link in the blog in the description box below so uh, don't miss the blog this is just a summary of what we've discussed in the blog uh, but you can see the composition right here and um, like snehal said we've been using it for more than 8 months and there's been no problem at all it's it's cut our costs into half um and it it is the exact same thing uh, so uh, nupur will you share the price of one lantus cartridge with us yeah um so um the lantus cartridge costs about 720 rupees last time i checked and uh, the glargin uh, from jan aushadi kendra costs about 310 rupees which is um, a 50% reduction in uh, costs and i think uh, uh, here in india all of us are paying out of pocket uh, well almost all of us are paying out of pocket unless you are a state or central government employee or you have some sort of coverage uh, through your employer whether uh, Uh, private or government but most people have to pay for their medic medicines uh, out of pocket so this is a huge uh, saving you are have with me uh, the regular the regular generic insulin uh, for which we have aptrapid uh, so i bought a package of 10 this is how it comes and uh, if you can even buy a pack, complete packet or you can even buy a single vial so this is how the vial looks like exactly similar to how you get the aptrapid vial again with a cap the yeah. only thing is that uh, like the aptrapid vial it doesn't come in an outer carton or a small box uh, you'll have to carry it just the way this is because the m like the uh, naked vial i would say just like that so you have to be a little cautious uh, when you're like uh, placing your pouch that is carrying your insulin so you have to just be cautious about uh, that but again the price of this is 71 versus uh, the price of aptrapid which is i think 150 last i checked and uh, we have had phenomenal experience uh, using both these insulins there has been uh, it works pretty much similar to um, the branded ones that we were using uh, for me personally i felt that actually it used to take around 45 minutes to 1 hour for it to start working but surprisingly uh, the jan aushadi kendra regular uh, insulin it starts working within 30 minutes so that was a big big yes from my side <laughs> that's amazing it's a lot of time right you know like if you have to eat something and if you have to walk or if you're outside it yeah. takes a lot of time like 30 minutes versus waiting an hour before you eat anything Absolutely. so that was i think i i have permanently shifted on to this now that's that's really nice in fact i feel so much fomo because um i've been using the actrapid 100 iu and i've not found that at the janaushadis that i have been to i believe it is available somewhere but um i'm not yet sure which center so this is a little challenge going and finding out um but uh, what snehal showed um, you know in the video just now was a 40 iu actrapid which is priced at a really really affordable 71 rupees that's uh, probably a little less Than a dollar, right? So I think experience-wise, um, we would say that branded insulin versus generic insulin that you get at the Jan Aushadi Kendras, uh, we haven't found any difference as such in the efficiency or uh, any major impact on our blood sugars. I think we, our sugars have been pretty much the same. Yeah. Uh, no impact over there. I think. Yes, absolutely. And even with the, I think uh, another way for me to test the glycine was to do another round of basal testing. So I went ahead, did my basal testing. We will also link the blog for basal testing in the description box. Uh, and from there, I could uh, I identify that uh, glycine is working exactly the same as Lantus. yeah and and saving us half uh, the cost right i, I mean that was uh, so cool and i can't believe i mean uh, having been t1 uh, for so many years we didn't know about it for a, for a long time and then we, when we knew about it there were a lot of there still are a lot of myths about uh, and if you go to our facebook group which is called diabetes support network india we will link it in again in the description uh, you'll see a lot of questions you know so uh, a good thing to do is go to the facebook group um go to the search function on the top right and type in jan aushadi type in generic you'll see a lot of questions about is it efficient does it work is it good enough uh, i think it's human psychology to think that expensive things are better in quality 
that is not necessary the composition of uh, the the insulin is the same uh, you'll also see a lot of other folks who shared oral medication that they are using and they're facing absolutely no problem it's the same as uh, branded medicine so if you're someone that's looking to cut costs or save some money and why not uh, do consider you know using generic medicines or do look at the janoshidi kendras and me and lokur wanted to be absolutely sure when yeah. we bring this video and blog out to you guys that uh, we have tested it through and out uh, be it different seasons uh, different uh, times when we are taking if you are really using it through a vial or a cartridge or pen or a syringe or whatever it is and we i think 8 uh, to 9 months is a big amount of time uh, for us to have like tested to and out and uh, that's what uh, that's why we are sharing our experience with you all about it Okay. and i think we we'll like to talk about another thing that is the most expensive thing i would say is the blood testing part of living with diabetes correct correct it's it, i think snails hit the nail on the head really because uh, you know when you're new you don't know all of these things but when you spend a little time and uh, energy trying to explore uh, the different glucometers again uh, there are lots of blogs that we've done um, everything will be linked into the description into the blog um, so do take a look uh, but i want to quickly bring your attention to uh, the jan aushadi glucometer it looks like this this is the carton there is a separate uh, small carton for the uh, blood test strips as well that i don't have uh, with me right now but uh, um this is what uh, the glucometer the box looks like and um, you get 25 strips for free so the glucometer costs you about 525 rupees uh, including the uh, 25 uh, free strips uh, which they give along with it so that works out to about 9 rupees a strip and um, i think that's that's still among uh, the the more inexpensive options that we have uh, on the market and uh, black snail mentioned there are a lot of jan aushadi kendras so you uh, you know even availability may not be an issue hopefully at least for us uh in metro cities it has not been but please share your experiences and questions with us in the comments and uh, we'll be happy to uh you know learn from you and share with you our learning so this is what it looks like on the inside uh that's uh, my lifetime supply of lancets in my favorite color <laughs> and uh, it's snail remember the time we you know uh, we were looking for these beautiful colored lancets many years ago those lovely lancets i remember this lovely memory with snail and we still have them i know snail also has them i have them and i remember that every time we used to meet someone who had a different colored lancet we like you want to meet we were collecting <laughs> a stock of our own colorful lancets correct so uh, this is what sorry i dropped uh, the control solution um, uh, this is the uh, pricking device this is the glucometer and it's pretty simple you just there's also um, there's also a cell a uh, small battery that comes in and uh, you just plug the battery into the glucometer i didn't even read the user manual i just you know went ahead and tested my sugars it was very very simple but there is a user manual and i also want to tell you there is a lifetime warranty card i mean i was blown with that i was like wow so if ever uh, you know the glucometer has issues uh, you can fill this lifetime warranty card give it to your jan aushadi kendra and uh, well i don't know what happens yet but i'm going to try and find out and keep you guys posted yeah. and i think the only thing is that uh, there's no separate space in the glucometer uh, box to keep yeah. the strips yeah. so it's like yeah. uh, the glucometer is a separate thing and the test strips is a separate thing i think that is the only thing but other than that i think costing wise and um, uh, how accurate it is uh, on the blog we have shared much much more in detail about uh, what was our experience uh, testing the blood sugars across different glucometers versus jan aushadi uh, glucometer so again uh, go ahead and read the blog through and through yeah and if you guys have any more ideas about how to save money while living with diabetes and not compromising on your health obviously do let us know um like snehal said we we put all our thoughts into the blog we've taken a long time to come up with this and we hope that you find our labor of love helpful and useful in your uh, management of diabetes whichever type of diabetes you may live with um and this is also a quick plug uh, i am inspired by snehal uh, i see all her 
videos and it's it's always there do stay connected with our community on all social media platforms we are on facebook of course we also have a very active facebook community called um, diabetes support network india we are on instagram we are on um, twitter youtube uh, you name it and we're everywhere stay connected and uh, you know please come and join our meetups we meet up in several cities so we'd love to hear from you what do you think about this video if you have any questions for us uh, do leave them in the uh, comments below and uh, we'll be more than happy to answer them and again uh, do like share subscribe to our youtube channel show us some love and support and we will see you next time bye bye